Hello everyone, uh, I am Dibino, and as the title suggests here, I'm going to show you guys how to install custom weapon ports, um, primarily Sky's weapon ports, however this should apply to almost any released, or anything that has been released. Um, so first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to devra.net and you're going to want to go to releases, you're going to find, or you're going to go here to weapons, you're going to find the weapon or the weapon pack you're going to want to install. Um, I'm going to, let's see here, I'll go ahead and install Sky's Black Ops 2 weapon pack. So just click download, and you go here, you download the, the zip file. Um, it shouldn't take too long. However, I'm going to cut it to when it has been finished. Alright, and as you can see right here, the pack has finished installing. So, that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that zip here to my desktop. And then I'm going to extract that. Just open it and just drag the folder onto the desktop. And that is done extracting, so I'm going to close the zip file. And then I'm going to go here to the Mod Tools Launcher. I'm going to select the map or mod that I'm using. And I'm just going to go here to Open Map Folder. And then I'm going to click up here to Black Ops 3. This is going to be the Black Ops 3 root right here. And then right beside it, I'm going to open up Sky's Black Ops 2 pack. And everything down here, so is what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the top one. I'm going to shift click all the way down here to X and export. And I'm going to drag and drop that all the way over here into the Black Ops 3 root file. And then it looks like I have already, or I already have some of Sky stuff installed. Just click replace, and then I'm going to close out of this, then we're going to go back here to the mod tools launcher, we're going to open up that map folder one more time, and then is what we're going to need to do um, is we're going to open up this add to zone file folder, or folder, uh, file, sorry, and then we're just going to drag and drag or just drag the all of this we're gonna copy you can either right click copy or you can do control C we're gonna close out of that we're gonna go here to zone source and we're gonna go down here control V or paste and then all that is added to the zone file we're gonna hit save and then, this is what I personally like to do, is I like to make a new zone file, or a new sound file for my weapons. So is what I normally do is I just copy this, pop that down here, and then I like to change the names to, or change the name to the type of, like, actual, like, I like to change it to the pack's name. So I, I just go here and I go to BO2 underscore weapons copy that just for time's sake and then bam and then over here uh, we're gonna navigate back to the black ops 3 root file we're gonna go to share raw and then we're gonna find sound we're gonna go to aliases and then we're gonna find user aliases we're gonna make a copy copy paste then we're going to rename this to what we had in our sound file. So Black Ops 2 Sounds. We're going to open this. And then, looks like I already had some stuff in here. Yep. So just ignore that. Um, leave, leave everything up here at the top. Um, your user alias should be empty. If not, then just make sure it looks empty. 
and then we're going to open up this one from Sky. We're going to, again, drag everything, um, or highlight everything, I should say. And then we're going to do, we're going to copy it. And then we're going to go here, and then we're going to paste it. And save that. And then right down here, to add everything to the mystery box, we're going to have to add it to a weapon table. So by default, this does not come included with uh, your map whenever you go to create a new one. It's not included with the stock template. Um, so you'll have to go back to share, raw, and then game data. Is what I like to do is I like to copy this folder, and then I like to go back to user maps, find the map that you're using, just paste that in here. And then we open that. We're gonna delete those ones up there and then delete that one and then you're gonna have a level common file right here and then is what I personally like to do as well as I like to get rid of all the stock weapons except for the ray gun uh, just for consist consistency reasons and then we're gonna copy all these and then just paste them right over here Yeah, and then that should be about all. Except if you want to add wall buys, I will show you how to do that right now. All you have to do is open up your map in Radium. Gonna build the lighting really quick. And then, as you can see by default, there's not a mystery box. Um, I will show you how to add a mystery box in a future tutorial. But that's what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add that in here really quick. And then to add a wall by, I'm just going to extend this out a little bit. So by default, there's going to be a, uh, what is this, the KRM, I believe. So is what you're going to want to do is, if you don't have your prefab browser over here already, you're going to go up here, you're going to right click, scroll down, or find the prefab browser. Then you're going to go down here, and then you're going to go to ZM, and then Sky prefabs, and you should be able to find his wall buys. So let's say that I want the, the M27. So all you do is you drag that over here, and then just rotate that, put that down. Looks like that's gonna be stubborn so just drag that line that up with the ground properly oh properly um, just want to make sure that that looks about right and then if I go here in the game view you can see that there's going to be the m27 and then you can do this with any of the weapons that he has that he has made into a wall buy. So again, I will show you with the Peacekeeper. Pop that down. So we have the Peacekeeper. And there it, that is. And then you just want to save and then you can close out of your map and you can compile, light, link, and run your map 
You shouldn't have any errors. If you do, it's going to be duplicate materials, but those should be fine. I just normally tick ignore errors. Um, and I think it should work just fine. Alright. And then, as you can see right here, we have the M27. Uh, I'm going to get proper amount of points and then uh, from the uh, just to show you that that also does work with sounds as well. Hopefully you guys learned something, and I hope you guys have a good time modding. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.